Thank you for viewing this educational program. This module provides a review of the management of superficial bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is the abnormal, uncontrolled production of cells in the bladder lining, or urothelium. This growth forms lumps called tumors, as shown here. This slide reviews the four layers of tissue that make up the bladder. The urothelium, also called the transitional epithelium, lines the bladder and is in contact with the urine. Over the urothelium lies the lamina propria, a layer of connective tissue and blood vessels. Over the lamina propria lies the bladder muscle or bladder wall. And over this muscle lies a layer of fat. The most important factor that determines how bladder cancer is treated is the extent of tumor growth. In other words, how deeply it has grown into the wall of the bladder. This is called the stage of the tumor. There are four main stages of bladder cancer, and each is typically treated quite differently. Cancer confined to the lining of the bladder is called superficial or carcinoma in situ. Cancer that spreads into the muscle of the bladder is called invasive. Cancer that grows through the wall of the bladder is called advanced, and cancer that spreads to other areas of the body is called metastatic. This slide illustrates the different stages of bladder cancer. More detailed information about staging can be found in the module entitled Understanding Bladder Cancer. The earliest stage of bladder cancer is called superficial bladder cancer. There are three stages of superficial bladder cancer. In carcinoma in situ, cells on the surface of the bladder lining have begun to change but have not yet formed a tumor. This is a special situation that is explained later in this presentation. In stage TA bladder cancer, a tumor has formed, but the cancer cells are found only on the surface of the urothelium. Stage T1 bladder cancer is sometimes referred to as early invasive or superficially invasive. In this stage, the cancer cells are found deeper in the bladder in the tissue beneath the bladder lining called the lamina propria. Here is a closer view of a TA tumor and carcinoma in situ, or CIS, compared with an invasive tumor. The most important part of the process to determine the stage of the tumor is a surgical procedure called tumor resection. For a surgical resection, an instrument called a resectoscope is inserted through the urethra into the bladder. A wire loop at the end of the scope is used to remove or burn off tissue with high energy electricity. The surgeon will use this instrument to cut into the tumor and the wall of the bladder right into the muscle layer so that the depth of tumor growth can be determined. A specialist called a pathologist will examine all of the tissue collected from the resection and inspect it under a microscope. He or she will be able to confirm the diagnosis of bladder cancer and can determine how deep into the bladder the tumor has grown. A pathologist will also grade a tumor according to how much the tumor's cells differ in appearance from normal cells. The most widely used grading systems classify tumors into three main grades. Low grade, with minimal abnormalities, intermediate grade, and high grade, which consist of disorganized cells with many abnormalities. The grade indicates the tumor's aggression level, in other words, how fast it is likely to grow and spread. High-grade tumors, therefore, are the most aggressive and the most likely to invade into the bladder muscle and beyond. This slide lists some important statistics related to bladder cancer. At the time of diagnosis, about 55% of tumors are low-grade and 45% are high-grade. Three in four, or 75% of tumors, are superficial, while about one in five or 20% are invasive, and 1 in 20, or 5%, are metastatic. After initial treatment, while the patient is being followed with regular visits, about 50 to 70% of superficial tumors overall will come back again, or recur, and about 5% progress to more invasive disease. TA tumors are the earliest, most superficial tumors, and are usually low-grade. They can be cured by snipping them off the bladder lining, a minor surgery called resection. After this procedure, however, the bladder must be closely watched as 50% of these tumors will come back again or recur later on. Fortunately, these recurrences are usually low-grade superficial tumors again and can be simply snipped off with a resection. 
of the low-grade tumors, 5 to 10 percent progress, and the five-year survival rate is 95 percent. With high-grade tumors, 15 to 40 percent progress, and the five-year survival rate is 75 to 90 percent. Stage T1, referred by some as early invasive or superficially invasive tumors, are often higher grade. Initial treatment is again with resection, then close follow-up. 70% of these tumors will recur, and there is a higher risk of these recurrences being more invasive tumors. If the grade of the tumor is medium or high, then drug treatment into the bladder is often recommended, and this will be explained shortly. Sometimes, these high-grade T1 tumors can be unresponsive to this therapy, however, and may require more aggressive treatment with surgery. Because T1 tumors tend to be high grade, the overall chance of progression is higher than with TA tumors, about 30 to 50 percent. Subsequently, the survival rate is also lower, at 66 percent. With this in mind, these tumors must be watched very closely and treated aggressively when appropriate. Carcinoma in situ, or CIS, is a very special case. In CIS, the cells lining the bladder have become abnormal but have not yet formed a tumor. Instead, a urologist will see distinct raised red patches of bladder lining during cystoscopy. While this is technically a superficial condition of the bladder lining, it can behave quite aggressively and must be treated carefully. 50% of these cases may progress to invasive cancer, and because of this, treatment with drugs given into the bladder is required. Fortunately, CIS often responds very well to this treatment. If it does not respond well, however, it may require more aggressive treatment, such as with removal of the bladder. As mentioned, the initial treatment for bladder tumors is always with surgical resection, called transurethral resection, whereby the surgeon scrapes the tumor off the lining of the bladder. This procedure not only provides the vital staging information that is needed to determine next steps in treatment, but it is also curative, at least temporarily, in superficial tumors. In some cases, such as with carcinoma in situ, or CIS, high-grade superficial tumors, or tumors that keep reoccurring, additional treatment is required. Most commonly, this involves the placement of drugs into the bladder through a tube called a catheter. After the drug solution is put in, it is kept there for a time, then the patient urinates it out. Sometimes this is done right at the time of tumor resection, and in other cases, it is done several weeks after resection and is repeated once weekly for six weeks or so, and perhaps periodically after that. This treatment aims to prevent or delay the tumor from coming back, and to prevent the development of more invasive tumors. It is very effective for high-grade tumors and CIS. Two types of drugs are used for this treatment. Immune, or biologic therapy, uses drugs that stimulate the body to fight the tumor cells. The most common drug used in this way is called BCG, or Bacille calmette guerin which is an inactive form of the tuberculosis bacterium. Interferon is another commonly used and very effective drug, and may be recommended if BCG alone is not effective. Chemotherapy drugs can also be placed directly into the bladder. These drugs work by directly killing the cancer cells and can have more toxic side effects. The most commonly used drugs in this class are called epirubicin, and mitomycin C. Prognosis is a word that means outlook or the chance of cure or survival. For bladder cancer, prognosis depends on the stage of the cancer, whether it is superficial, invasive, advanced, or metastatic, the type and grade of bladder cancer cells, and the patient's age and general health. Fortunately, early superficial bladder cancer is usually curable and most bladder cancers can be treated without major surgery. Most patients with superficial bladder cancer are not at risk of developing a cancer that will spread and become life-threatening, and most people with bladder cancer will not die of their disease. Even after successful bladder cancer treatment, regular urine testing to look for blood, abnormal cells, or other markers, and cystoscopy are often required to monitor the bladder for new growths. A typical follow-up schedule involves cystoscopy for every three months for the first year, then every six months for a couple years or so, then annually for at least five to ten years. 
Your doctor will advise you on the appropriate follow-up schedule for your situation. Here are just a few of the many resources available to educate you on bladder cancer. There are also books written specifically for patients with bladder cancer, and this is just a sample of a couple. These may be available at your local medical library or bookstore, and you may find more patient guides online at the resources on the previous slide. These medical references were used to assist in preparing this presentation. Thank you again for viewing this educational program. Talk to your doctor if you would like to learn more about your condition. The muscle of the bladder is called invasive. Cancer that grows through the wall of the bladder is called advanced and cancer that spreads to other areas of the body is called metastatic. This slide illustrates the different stages of bladder cancer. More detailed information about staging can be found in the module entitled, Under in other words, how deeply it has grown into the wall of the bladder. This is called the stage of the tumor. There are four main stages of bladder cancer, and each is typically treated quite differently. Cancer confined to the lining of the bladder is called superficial or carcinoma in situ. Cancer that spreads into the muscle. Over the urothelium lies the lamina propria, a layer of connective tissue and blood vessels. Over the lamina propria lies the bladder muscle or bladder wall. And over this muscle lies a layer of fat. The most important factor that determines how bladder cancer is treated is the extent of tumor growth. In abnormal, uncontrolled production of cells in the bladder lining, or urothelium. This growth forms lumps called tumors as shown here. This slide reviews the four layers of tissue that make up the bladder. The urothelium, also called the transitional epithelium, lines the bladder and is in contact with the urine. Thank you for viewing this educational program. This module provides a review of the management of superficial bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is the